The March Against Sexual Violence followed a ceremony held at the Hillsborough Tennis Court. Inspector Andrea Noel Victor is the head of the Special Victims Unit. Statistics from the Royal Grenada Police Force shows that in 2018, 19 incidents of sexual abuse were reported, and so far in 2019, we only had two. Now, though it may seem a few, it is not good news still because it is one too much and the reported incidents only reflect a minuscule percent of the overall incidents that occur. Activities like what we're seeing here today motivate us and bring about job satisfaction because we know that our efforts can save at least one child. Our efforts can save at least one life from becoming a victim of sexual abuse. Events like these also transform, can transform the mind of at least one would-be perpetrator who might have intention to prey on a vulnerable child. Honorable Kinja Matirin Stewart, Minister for Caricom, Pitimatic Affairs, Local Government and Legal Affairs, says we have a right as adults to ensure the safety and security of our children. Sexual abuse continues to be a burning social scourge affecting our children, communities and the general society of Grenada, Caricom and Pitimatic. It should be, of course, the natural impulse of every society to want to protect our children. As a matter of fact, as adults, we have a responsibility to ensure the safety and security of our loved ones, our children. In bringing up our children, remember how important it was to grow up under the watchful eyes of people who loved and cared for us. We remember growing up in communities where villages raised our children. We grew up with people who wanted the best for us. And the number one objective was, of course, the security and safety. Minister Steele says the Legal Affairs Ministry is in the process of reviewing all criminal legislations to ensure all small victims are protected. The relevant authorities and partners such as the Ministry of Social Development, Child Protection Authority and the Special Victims Unit, along with the Ministry of Legal Affairs, we are doing all that we can do to ensure that we have intervention and advocacy programs, enforcement of legislation and policies in addressing these issues. And might I pause here to add that we in the Ministry of Legal Affairs and in the process of reviewing all laws, all criminal legislations to ensure that especially young and small victims are really protected. Honorable Delma Thomas, Minister for Social Development, Housing and Community Empowerment, also delivered remarks at this ceremony. A march like this was not necessary. That we as a society would have been so sensitized, so in tune, and that the children were being respected and cherished. Unfortunately, this is not the case. And so campaigns like this were it's very, very necessary. But I'm confident that there is enough good people around who want to stand up, who want to show solidarity, and who want to make a difference. You are among the majority whose voices are all there, and who say enough is enough, and we have to protect our children at all costs. Placards with different messages were held by students as they marched through the streets of Hillsborough. Means no, sexual violence is wrong, and we are here marching against it. We urge everyone to be a voice for those who cannot speak for themselves. Remember the children are our future and we need to protect them now. The March Against Sexual Violence was held under the theme, Our Children Are Innocent, Let's Protect Them From Harm.